What's up guys, Cameron, tech support supervisor from Fuel Tech USA. We've got Izzy's 2JZ powered 86 on the dyno again. Looks like we got some, some upgrades here. We got a new turbo it looks like, maybe a couple other things. Last time it was on the dyno, it made almost 1900 horsepower with the older setup. Let's see it today how it goes. Brandon and Petty from ProLine are on their way over here in a little bit. Let's get to it. Well, it's a billet lock. Yeah, but there, there's like two companies now that make billet heads for them. They're supposedly somebody at the racetrack just told me the other day they were making them if I was interested in running them. I can't remember who it was. That Milos guy from overseas. I now nah, this is somebody. Yeah, I'm, sure I'm probably gonna be relying. On. I'll let you look through this. Yeah, me, Garrett, and a couple other people will be there. Yeah. That shows you how much is needed. Okay. Separate thing, or no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, this thing was just thrust upon me like, oh, we're going racing next week in MR. Okay. Uh, he cut on a second. Paul, oh, did you turn the power off? Yes, that's probably the lock up now. Okay. Oh, generic, dude, no power right now. That was on. Now we got power. Stop pulling it, it's all back in. Red, at least. Well, then. Wait, is this the same connector as all Yeah. Okay, so what do we need to do? Unscrew this fitting? Yeah. Well, well vent the CO2 and let's just pull this all off and take a look. Yeah, that's pretty good. We gotta figure that out too. That's what I tell you. They're real small tweak. Whatever little piece of it. I'm just done. wondering if I got it on the wrong port. Like we came, we lifted another car over there. Was, no, because it shifted it the right way. Huh? It shifted the right way. It's just like when it sits there, it's actually got some pass through. And it didn't have any tension on the shifter. Oh, bad, yeah. Maybe. Alright, let's go with that. You guys got some ice? No, we need to get some. I'm going to need some cool. We need some ice. Add that to the list of things I have to buy for this time. Get there. Yeah. Probably. Is a. Uh, Pez number one of Vegas? No. Oh, I'll start my without it. Hmm. What's the pressure at? Like 
up guys? First run on the dyno, new setup, and we're already within 100 horsepower of what we did last time. And there's a lot more changes that we can do to get this thing to make more power. Uh, made almost the same boost as last time. The car's got a lockup now, so we can really get, get after it. Brandon was driving and it sounded smooth, went awesome. Now uh, we'll see what Steve Petty and, and Brandon have for this thing. Turn it up a little bit more. And uh, if you take a look, 1,777 horsepower. It's pretty stout, but we know that there's more left. So stay tuned, we'll see what comes up next. You go to whatever and then you kind yeah, of yeah. feather it down to like a racetrack. She had this for sporting here. Just full yeah. lap? So my gear was kind of like about the same as I get about that fast. I did that fast. Hey, what?
This car is going to be at the World Cup Finals uh, in Maryland, and they're going to finish tuning it up there. Steve Petty said, peace out, I'm going fishing. So let's just kind of go over the car a little bit. It is a Billet 2JZ. Um, it's got a 94 millimeter, uh, looks like an XPR turbo on it. Uh, FT600, FT Spark. Obviously, it runs on methanol, has a little bit of nitrous on it to get it to spool up. This thing makes 44 pounds of boost on the two-step and then it goes up from there. Uh, we made 60 pounds on the dyno today with plenty of turbo left. Uh, can definitely make a lot more boost than this. And uh, should be a really, really fast car. I, I, it looks really light. The chassis looks really, really nice. You can just feel by moving the doors, everything is super light. Lots of carbon fiber everywhere. Uh, it looks like a Mark Mickey transmission and lockup converter, which is also really nice stuff. Uh, it's always cool to see uh, import vehicle with a automatic transmission in them. I think it's getting more popular just because it's far more consistent and lets you do a lot of really cool things. Um, car's going to be running on slicks, so it's not like a radio car. They're going to have it set up to do racing on slicks. I'm not sure what class this thing is going to race in, but it's probably something like Warriors or one of those classes at uh, World Cup. Um, Izzy is one of the uh, really good friends of Jose Gonzalez from the El General racing team. So very, very popular guys, been doing racing stuff for a really, really long time. So hopefully they have really great success and uh, we'll see you guys next time.